Okay, I've got uh, two tubes for uh, Herbst Appliance. Um, this is just not really dental related, but I'm just going to show you how versatile this thing is at uh, basically doing anything. I'm just going to join the tubes together like this. Just tack it on uh, all four sides real quick. Now when you weld, it does tend to uh, to constrict at the weld site, so you got to balance everything out and hold it in place before, or else you'll end up opening the seam on the opposite side. Uh, but anyway, after you get them tacked, then you can just go through and weld it. You can see I'm holding on to it right next to it. If it does get hot, there's an air nozzle right, right here within reach. I'm just reaching my hand up and spraying it with air uh, to cool it off quickly. Okay, there you go. And I'll uh, just kind of smooth things out. Anyway, there you go. Nice and smooth. Um, I mean, just for kicks, you could um, you can come back here and uh, I don't know. You could just quickly weld a stud to that for whatever. If you're making a a project of some kind, I've used this for um, hobby-related stuff all the time. Anyway, I just grabbed this piece of steel that was laying in the bottom of the laser and uh, just weld that up. There you go. Just like that. Now you can see in the inside the welding chamber. Um, an arm right here that you raise like this to um, increase or decrease the spot size as it's shown on that diagram right there. Um, you don't have to look at it, you just you just learn that all the way down is the sharpest spot point. It's really uh, almost too penetrating for most stuff. Um, I find that uh, two clicks up like that, that's where I generally weld everything. And then to polish, it's just another two clicks up. So it's really easy. Uh, and then on the other side, you've got your joystick, and you can go through and change um, the overall power output of the machine, and um, that's where you uh, do that from. You don't have to use this too often. And then here's the air nozzle. And at the back of the machine is a uh, is a filter to filter out the smoke and stuff. Um, and it also draws clean air into the laser to cool the uh, the light uh, emitting um, mechanism inside the laser that cools the water because it's basically bathed in water to keep it cool. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's what it looks like from the inside. And like I said, this is the argon argon nozzle right here, and argon comes in through uh, this blue line, it fills this chamber, and the argon just falls out the bottom onto your workpiece. And then uh, up here is uh, my argon tank. It's quite a large tank. It lasts me about three or four months, and it costs about. Sixty-five dollars uh, to refill it or exchange it, um, and you can adjust the amount of argon right here. Uh, doesn't take a big, a large amount because the argon falls right down on the site that you're working with. So 
Anyway, I hope that was helpful.